Good morning, everyone. How's your days going? Or weeks, months? I don't know. <laughs> but anyways, today in this video, I'm talking about my master cylinder and my Toyota 4Runner that I am going to have to replace. And the priceage for this, this apparently is like around 60 to a couple hundred and something around there. 140, I think. I don't know. It's kind of hard to understand where the price range just goes in. Depends also on the year and you have to find like the make and model and go from so apparently there. for this Toyota it's a master cylinder I have to replace the o-rings things in the master cylinder the guy says that I bought the truck off of and hopefully That's my only problem that I need to fix on this truck cuz Yeah, like I said before transmission isn't catching properly like in first gear it grinds a bit but hopefully the ma refixing the clutch system helps with the uh, process of switching gears and hoping it to be able to run properly. That's what I'm hoping well, theoretically, for. the truck does run properly. The engine has no problem with running and whatnot. It's just switching gears and all that. And, like the clutch doesn't allow it to like properly switch. And so I think the reason why it's starting to grind a lot more is because the clutch system doesn't properly catch on it and it's like a fight for it to get it into place like i can get it into first place no problem a few times but it doesn't always stick so it takes me a while to try for it but once i get it that's when things start and to start rolling for me you know <laughs> so this here is the master master cylinder and it needs to be the o-rings in here need to be replaced so we need to pull this back and start switching out the o-rings in here and re and renew it you so know i'm pretty positive once i've replaced the o-rings in here this master cylinder will be back to new or something to be able to run properly and i won't have to worry about replacing them for a while but maybe the slave cylinder might have to be replaced but i don't think so i think that is all fine i think the master cylinder is just the main part once i get this redone i think everything shall be ready to roll out then <laughs> So as you can tell, there's a lot of components inside the engine area, especially over here where the master cylinder was. Oh, this was not a fun time to get at. You have to get at this bolt here and that bolt down there from a very hard angle, especially when you have to push the pin out down from underneath the gas pedals and clutches and brakes, whatever you want to say. But when trying to get this out of here is very difficult, to be honest. And it's really tricky. Especially when you're just trying to drain the brake fluid line out. So I know I said brake fluid line, like you can add brake fluid to the master cylinder for when it pumps uh, the liquid down towards the slave cylinder to give it pressure to push on the pressure plate on the inside of the transmission. So theoretically, I think in a way, well not think, theoretically the master cylinder and slave cylinder work like a hydraulic with the brake fluid that's why you need the brake fluid in there so when the pressure goes from the clutch to push down on the master cylinder releases a pressure to be pushed down towards the slave cylinder under which gives uh, the pressure towards the pressure plate so we are so we when we are driving we are able to switch gears and to be honest that's pretty darn smart to think about you know so thank you for watching this video and I hope you guys enjoyed it and don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel to see more content about my daily vlogs I guess you can say it as because I think this is what this channel is going to be about is my daily vlogs or something or like the vlogs about my daily activities of the things I like doing or something like personal stuff I guess you could say and a lot of it's going to do with the Toyota for right now and especially maybe the Volkswagen not sure but if you guys want more videos on that i'll give you more videos about the volkswagen too because not gonna lie my main car my day my main daily driver car is a volkswagen golf and to be honest i need to put some work in it to be honest <laughs> anyways thank you guys have a great one catch you guys around peace